Hi, I'm Laurie from TimeToPlayMag.com, and it's time for tea with Princess Sophia in the Sophia the First Magical Tea Time Game from the Wonder Forge. This game is for two to four players, ages three and up, and each player starts out with their own teacup and place setting. Then you spread out the 36 treat tiles on the board, and next to the board you place the three fairy headmistress plates. On your turn, turn over one treat, and let's see what I've turned over, a color. So if you turn over a color, you must place this treat on the fairy headmistress plate of the matching color. So this is green, so I'll put it on the green plate. Now if you turn over a multi-color treat, then you get to choose which color fairy headmistress place to put this on. So I think I'm gonna go with red. If you turn over a teacup, looks like this, then you get to put that treat on your place setting and take your teacup and then blow on it to make the tea spin. <sighs> it's really cool. When it stops, you get to take all the treats from that fairy head mistress plate of the matching color. So this is red, so I get to take this treat and put it on my place setting. If you turn over the teapot, then you get to put that treat on your place setting and take the air puffer teapot and then starting with the player on your left, you would squeeze the teapot above that teacup to make the tea spin. And you would just go forth and do this for everyone. And when it stops, then you would give those treats on the matching fairy headmistress color plate to that player. So you do everyone and end with yourself. Now, if you get the good manners treats, there are three of them, you might have to keep the treat if perhaps your elbows are off the table, or if you were the first to stand and curtsy, or if you've said please or thank you recently. And when all the treats are taken, the game is over and the players with the most treats wins. This is a great first game for preschoolers that encourages some imaginative play. Spinning the tea, whether blowing on it to cool it off or using the air puffer teapot is really clever and kind of magical for young players. The game is also a great way to introduce kids to table etiquette and manners, and we're sure that kids will have fun hosting pretend tea parties with the game pieces even when they're not playing the game. If you want to find out more information on this game, such as how much it costs and where to buy, then come visit TimeToPlayMag.com, your number one source for all things play.